So one quick thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually something that happened to me uh, yesterday. And it goes back to kind of the whole theme for this week of, of learning. And even though, even though we, could have, we could do something a thousand times, there's still a way to look at it maybe a little bit differently. We just kind of change the angle a little bit and we can find a new way to push ourselves or a new way to change things up so that we still are working hard, but maybe we mix up the variety of a little bit of how we look at things or how we act towards certain things. Um, I've said before, I'm, I love basketball. It's like my most favorite hobby in the entire world. It's like my happy place. It's like my zen kind of thing. It's how I, it's how I unwind. And when all this happened, you know, all of the, the basketball leagues that I played with, they, they all closed. And all the gyms that are, were always open, they all closed. And so I was going a little bit, a little bit stir crazy over the last few weeks, um, not being able to do that, that and not being able to have that, that outlet for myself. And I have a basketball hoop in my driveway, um, but I don't use it because when I was very little, I tried dunking on it, and I did when it was like at six feet high because I shortened it all the way and made it feel like I was I was eight feet tall. And the rim bent, and it's been up like this the entire time, just just up for years and years. And I've never used it because it's impossible to make a shot on this stupid thing because every time you try to shoot on it, it, just bounces right off the front rim. It's impossible to make a shot on this thing. And I went outside yesterday. I like I mowed the lawn. We did some like outside work. And I'm sitting there looking at the hoop. And I go, no, I gotta try this again. I have to try this again, I wanna do something. So I grabbed my basketball, I did like a little bit of dribble, I moved the cars out of the driveway, and I just took some time, and I breathed, and I said, okay, so if I angle it a little bit different, I stand to the side, X, Y, and Z, and I'm going through all these different motions, and finally, like finally, like after years, I made one shot, and I switched it. And then I said, okay, let me grab the ball again, let me do that one more time. I took another step back, I did it again, and it went in. And for you, years it was impossible for years it was absolutely impossible to make a stupid shot on this thing because the rim was bent up and it's I've, been, I've only shot on a basket that was level for my entire life okay just because i had this obstacle in my way originally i was like nope i can't be done i have to go but, but finding a different way to look at it and literally here it was a different it was literally a different angle it was literally a different angle that i had to focus on my shot changing it a little bit but i found myself back to where i was when i was playing again and feeling that kind of elation and, and I was working hard and I was sweating and that was like the greatest feeling in the world, being able to sweat and challenge myself. So the message going here for the rest of your week is, you know, if something, if something doesn't seem great or even if something does seem great, there's always a chance, there's always a way for us to look at it at a little bit of a different angle. And maybe at that different angle, we get a little bit of a different vantage point and say, okay, now this is a different way that I can push myself. And it goes just back to your exercises, the way that you're eating, the way that we're living now, the way that you're challenging yourself with, that you act and talk and all those kind of things. Sometimes we just have to change the angle, not just, not even to increase or decrease things, but just to add a little bit of a variety because things are stagnant now. Things are stagnant and mixing things up is gonna be the most important thing, not only for you know your own personal sanity, but for your own personal growth as well. So I want you to keep these things in mind. Always change the vantage point just a little bit because going from here to here, it's a whole different world just by switching that vantage point just a tiny little bit. I want you to focus on that this week, okay? And tomorrow, I'm gonna teach you about something else that, you know, something else that we can learn and take away going into the end of week six, pushing on to week number seven. Uh, but I wanna say like, from start to finish, like, and I know it was a, there, were, there was a short class today. You guys worked so unbelievably hard. Like, like, Ruth, oh my God, Marisa, guys, <laughs> Jenny, oh my God. Um, that was a hard one. Oh, worked oh, so I, hard. I just want to say one thing. Did we just do that? <laughs> <laughs> did we just finish it was that? A lot. <laughs> my love, you guys absolutely did it. It's like on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we started. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I can move. So I struggled the whole way. But you know what? It's done. It's done. <laughs> yes, and we just did it. We did it. 25 minutes in the books. You got the whole rest of your day. Thank you guys for working out with me. Put something nice and close to the camera. I want you guys to say, take it to the max on three. Thank you guys, seriously. You guys make my mornings pushing this hard. All right, take the max on three. One, two, three. Take it to the take max. Take it to the max. Have a great awesome rest job, of your morning. Guys. Thank you guys. Good job. Bye, guys. Bye.